Sally, Sally, watch out, watch I out. Touch the steering wheel, slam on the brakes. The mom dies at the front of the car. The car, boom. Everybody in the Stanley Kingdom is a king or queen, my brother, but everyone can't be a lord or lady without the help of established titles. Established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while keeping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Come on, somebody. Title Pass give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Eddleston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. Established title plants a tree with every order and works with one tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title of Lord or Lady under your credit card, plane tickets, dating profiles, etc. It makes a great last minute gift. The first 200 of my brothers and sisters purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot of land. Like literally within a few minutes walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can literally build our little Stanley animation kingdom. It makes an amazing last minute gift. A stylist titles is actually running a massive Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Stanley, you get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com/stanley to get your gift now and help support the channel all right back to the video i should be in jail or prison or both and if it wasn't for the fact that i knew that if i got locked up my cheeks would be clapping more than a black girl's hands when she's about to fight i would have turned myself in faster than a test i didn't study for and i would have turned stanley in just as fast if it wasn't for the fact that i should be in jail too see my brother's good at a lot of things like uh, uh like uh See, Stanley's a great guy, but he's also bad at a lot of things. You name it, video games, talking to girls, life. Okay, okay, they get it. Next topic. Okay, okay, my fault. And one of those things happened to be moving his arms while simultaneously pressing on a gas pedal. And for the longest time, the only gas pedal I knew involved twerking because I didn't have any reason to get my license, unlike my brother and sister who got theirs at 18 and 16. So being the amazing older brother I am, I taught him everything his brain could handle, which wasn't, wasn't that much. What he means to say is our parents forced him to teach me how to drive. But Yo-Yo has the vision of a bat with glycoma that listens to Fetty Wap. If I was committing a crime, he couldn't even be my lookout. He would just have to be the out. He's the only person I know that can take an eye exam and then have homework afterwards. So I'm not feeling the best having him as my first driving instructor. I'm not going to lie. Like my sister got my dad to teach her and my dad is basically a formula one driver and if you have family from the caribbeans or been to the caribbean you know exactly what i mean our dad will literally make the car do a somersault backflip and woo walk before missing an exit so i wanted him to teach me how to drive but our sister ruined it for me because when my dad taught her how to drive at an empty storage unit she almost ran into one of the units before my dad even got a chance to get into the passenger seat so my dad had to literally dive at the car turn the steering wheel from the window and when he fell the back tire was literally inches inches from his face so i understand why he neglects to live out that trauma a second time because if my daughter tried to turn me into a dance dance revolution doormat by running me over the next steps she learns better be to the pearly gates because i am not dying alone me and yo-yo hop in our mom's car and start driving down the street and honestly everything's going great partially because he's a good teacher but i've watched enough need for speed and played enough gta to know that green means go red means stop and if someone honks their horn at me all i gotta do is down down left right left right to spawn a rocket launcher and delete their existence so I'm talking to Yo-Yo like, bro, I honestly think I'm good. This driving thing is easy. So he's like, all right, bet. Uh, last thing though, before we go inside, I want you to drive through this neighborhood. Weird, but okay. So I pull into this neighborhood, right? And it's dead. 
there was no one outside it was so empty that i thought the baby was performing while i was driving my brother is giving me instructions and one of the tips he told me was yo so when you're driving through a neighborhood it's important to prioritize hovering your foot over the brakes instead of leaving it on the gas pedal and he points at the brake so i look down at the brakes and in a split second that's all it took i hear Sally. Sally, Sally, watch out, watch out! Two milliseconds that I looked to where my brother pointed, there was a kid that ran into the street. My baby! And then I can hear a woman chasing after the kid, but I don't see her. All of this is happening in like two seconds, so my mind is all over the place. The kid is in the middle of the road, and the mother is running out towards the road. And all I can think about is how me and this kid are both gonna be ran through if I go to jail. So I clutch the steering wheel, slam on the brakes, the mom dives at the front of the car, the car, boom. The mom is on the floor with the kid. I'm looking at yo, 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 looking at me. Automatically, I'm thinking, yo, we wasting time. We have to hide these bodies. But luckily, the woman on the ground gets on a knee and starts to thank us. I'm like, oh my God, I thought I just killed you. I thought I just murdered someone. She was thanking us for not hitting her kid and she was apologizing for letting him roam into the street. Whole time she was apologizing, I didn't even think about her or the kid. I was already planning my escape. And I was fully convinced Stanley turned them into a life-size sticker on some flat Stanley shit. On some flat Stanley shit on some fl if it wasn't for the fact that she got up and apologized i'm pretty sure we would have caught life in prison no don't put me in that you would have caught life in prison because in that moment it dawned upon me that i would have been off the grid 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 they're not gonna find me see, see what i did there donda off the grid like, we go home me and yo yo do not say a single word of this to our parents i set down the keys and guess what? I smooth did not drive for the next four years. So, uh, don't text and drive. I think that's the moral. Nah, nah. The moral is wear your seatbelt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But that's the odd ones out thing. Mmm. You're right. You're right. Don't wear your seatbelt and text then. Sounds good? Sounds good to me. Bet yo what's good welcome to the end of the video man i hope you guys enjoyed another video i'm sorry that i missed last week if y'all watched the video to the end of last week you would have saw that i was sick last week turns out i had the flu you know what i'm saying so give me a pass you know what i'm saying i almost died and i still got that video out but anyways man i'm sorry for missing that week but uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video shout out to my big brother you know what i'm saying appreciate him hopping on the video y'all say if you did if you haven't subbed to yo yo already go ahead sub to yo yo he's so close to one mil you know what i'm saying and we on our one mil grind to you know say i hope you guys enjoyed the video bro fire video in my opinion make sure you guys like comment subscribe all down below make sure you follow me on my instagram and I'm not gonna lie, after December, I got something special for y'all, bro. I got something special. I got a second channel coming out. I got a second animation channel coming out. And, and that's all I'll say for now. But I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching the video. I love y'all. I really do. And you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep grinding. New video next week, Friday, um, probably at 11 p.m., just like this video. 11 30 p.m but yeah friday nonetheless with that being said it's a wrap fade to black <laughs> day in the trap get racks every day she fuck with me now i told her to lay my hook in the water she liking my bed ain't saving a hoe i don't wear a cave you be with me don't think you ever save i hop in the four and it's dry like a race you sipping the henny i don't need a chase you dodging the feds and catching no kids i stay in the trap get racks every day she fuck with me now i told her to lay my hook in the water she liking my bed ain't saving a hoe i don't wear a cave you be with me don't think you ever save i hop in the four and it's dry like a race you sipping the henny i don't need a chase you dodging the feds and catching no kids